This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory, and this is part three of our walkthrough of section 2.2 in the Microsoft 2016 Excel Expert Study Guide. Let's get started. So our first task is to open the 2.2c workbook and display the accounts receivable data worksheet. So I have the worksheet opened here, and we'll start in the upper left hand corner here. And we're going to be applying a, a conditional formatting to this entire uh, range. So I'm going to hit Control Shift Down Arrow, and then the right arrow until I have the whole table highlighted. Next, I'm going to use my shortcut keys of Alt H L to go into conditional formatting, and then an N in order to create a new rule. We're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And what we've been instructed to do is create and apply a conditional formatting rule that applies a light green fill color to the cells in each row that has an invoice amount value greater than 2000. So let's take care of our fill first. So right now there's no formatting set. We are going to click Format. And we'll select Fill. And then light green is this one right here. Okay, so now we need to create our formula that is going to highlight the rows in which the invoice amount is over 2000. So column D is the column that has our invoice amounts in it. So what we want is a format where we'll start with D4 as that's our first cell is greater than 2000. Now, if we leave this as a relative reference, it's not going to work for us. What we need to do is lock that reference in. We're going to use our shortcut of F4, and we'll toggle it three times to make sure that the dollar sign is in front of the D and not in front of the 4. So we'll click OK here. Perfect. So now when we look at this table, uh, we can confirm that all of these rows that are highlighted green do have an amount higher than $2,000. Perfect. Let's move on to the next task. Great. Now we are to create and apply a conditional formatting rule that applies an orange fill color to the cells in each row that has a day's overview value greater than or equal to 30. So this table is still highlighted for me. I'm going to use my shortcut keys of Alt, H, L, and N to get a new rule and we'll want a formula. This time we want to have an orange fill color. So we'll select orange and we will type in our formula. So in this case this is going to be equal to the days overdue column which is column G and our first row is row 4 and greater than or equal to 30. So before we could just use a greater than sign. In this case, we're going to use a greater than and an equal sign. All right. And that's to greater than or equal to 30. Now, we did this in the last formula, and I'm doing it again here. I do not like having a constant in a formula. So after we go through these practice tasks, we're going to fix this and make it so that it would be more appropriate how you'd want to use it in uh, in your professional life. All right, so let's toggle this. All right, and so we'll use F4. We need to make sure that it's the dollar sign is in front of the G, and that's just to confirm that it's going to lock in to the values in column G. It'll move as we, it references down row by row, but it's always going to be testing column G. We'll click OK. And sure enough, we have orange rows. And when I look here, days overdue, yes, they're all over 30 days before they're highlighted. Let's move on to the next task. All right, so now we're going to go back and edit the first rule. Uh, so that instead of 2,000, it's 1,500. And so this is one of the reasons I don't like the constant in the formula itself. So this time, instead of N for new rule, we're going to hit R to manage the rules. And so here's our first formula. You can see our D4 greater than 2,000. 
we're going to select edit rule and we're going to change this 2000 to 1500 we'll click OK and then we'll click apply alright so we've seen there's a lot more green showing so let's take a look at this yeah so now for example this row 16 is at 1685 it would not have been green previously and now it has been made more green or now it is is made green instead of no fill so we're confident that we've gotten that task completed let's move on to the last task all right so now we're going to change the order of conditional formatting so that it applies the invoice amount rule before the days overdue rule so what's happening now is if you have a particular value that uh, so for example let's look at the very first one here it is over 1500 so it should be green but it's also overdue over the 30-day limit so right now the conditioning formatting rules are turning this orange but in, in respect it, it could be green as well so you kind of have to make a decision what is the more important information that you would rather see so let's go in and adjust our rules here so we'll go Alt, H, L, and R to manage the rules. So what we can do is highlight the rule that we want, and we'll click this up arrow. Okay, and so now what will happen is Excel is going to evaluate this rule first. And if this is green, it won't apply the orange rule to it. So it's only going to apply the second rule in situations where the first one is not true. So we'll click Apply here and click OK. So you can see this first row that was orange previously is now highlighted in green instead. So we have this rule figured out uh, and all these tasks are completed. So that wraps up the practice task as far as the book. However, let's uh, spend another couple minutes here and let's, let's fix this in a way that uh, would make more sense for a professional user and get rid of those uh, constants in those formulas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple rows here. All right, so let's uh, go to insert. And we're going to insert a row. All right, let's do that one more time. OK, so let's have a uh, let's call this an invoice. We'll spell invoice properly, threshold, and then we will have a days overdue threshold. Uh, so right now we have 1500 in there. And so that's automatic defaulted to a date format. So let's change that formatting. So we'll hit Alt H uh, and then to go to currency, we'll have that as AN enter all right so now it's in dollars and then days overdue we will have that as 30. that's again going to go into a date format for us so we'll change that by alt h uh, and k all right so we now have that formatted properly i like having a named constant um and so what we'll do is we'll do one as a named constant and and one without just to show you how you would treat it differently so I'm going to name this cell now. I've highlighted cell B2, and I'm going to name this. I'm going to call this invoice threat, thresh. All right, so let's go into our conditional formatting rule manager. Alt, H, L, and R to manage these rules. Okay, so let's edit this green rule. All right, so I'm going to replace this 1500 with our with our named range. Let's see if that'll work for us. Let's apply that. All right, so now when we change this value here, it should automatically show up in our spreadsheet. So let's go to 2100. Perfect. Uh, 1200. 
So now when we want to see those values change, all we have to do is enter the cell. We don't have to go all the way into the rule manager. So this is when you're setting up conditional formatting rules. It's always best to have your constant in a cell rather, or your variable in this case, in a cell rather than inside the formula itself. So let's uh, fix our second one here. All right, so we'll select this one, edit rule. And this time what we're gonna do is we are gonna use cell B3. And then we will make that an absolute reference by highlighting it and then hitting F4. You'll notice that we have a dollar sign now in front of the B and in front of the three. We'll click OK. We'll apply it. And let's see if it works here. So let's go um, 10 days. OK, perfect. So now we've seen a bunch more rules, a uh, bunch more rows highlight in our orange for us. All right, so I hope you found that extra tip at the end worthwhile. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this a thumbs up if you thought this information was useful to you. Uh, leave me a comment if you'd like to see anything new or different. Thanks for watching.